All right, we're gonna get started. It's about a minute until the pass begins. And um, got the antenna, got the radio, got it tuned for Doppler shift, uh, five kilohertz above the center frequency. Um, when it comes towards us, we need to be higher in frequency for Doppler effect. I've got the software, I've got the map, I've got the time, and it's about a minute until pass, so let's turn on the, um, got a little DSLR here to record the, the whole process. Have a second, oh, let's turn it on this way, here we go. Okay. Now we've got some background. All right. I'm Psyched. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need to start up the um, screencasting recording software so I can have the audio of this at the very least, and also have. Um, okay. Now I've got that, so I can show you the background of what I'm looking at. So I've got. Okay. We got to get it up. We got to get the antenna up, y'all. <laughs> there it is. Holy shit, that was fast. I went too slow. I gotta. I missed part of the freaking transmission. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so I can hear it for myself. Oh yes, I missed part of it, no! The signal strength is high, it's already S9. Holy crap, okay. Okay. Look at this signal strength, y'all. It's not even over the horizon. Look at this. I'm aiming into a building. And we're getting S9 signals right here. Holy crap. All right. Man enters space. Okay, so what I know about this. Let me. God, this is a strong signal. It's S9 plus right now. Okay, what I know about this is that there's gonna be supposedly a three minute break between transmissions. So I'm getting this one at the beginning of the pass and when it ends, theoretically there will be a three minute break, which is annoying for me because uh, I'll just have to kind of estimate where the, where the ISS, where the International Space Station has gone. And, um, I don't have tracking software on my laptop yet. I haven't gotten that configured in my new interest in satellites. I have had that in the past, but it was 15 years ago. Oh my god, this is so strong. Realize that this video stopped obviously you know that now and this one too probably who knows why it's not very good at um doing video because of some sort of EU restrictions and also it may have overheated though it doesn't feel very hot to me okay so let's wrap this up um it worked we got a signal here okay turn off the radio see we went down to 795 we started at 8.05, went to 800 center frequency when it was, when it was over, overhead, and then went to 7.95 before it ended. All right, computer is now like burning up out here in this summer almost like weather. And okay, so I'm gonna look at the camera myself and I can use the screen recording to show what I'm doing on it. Uh, oh yeah, the picture's pretty good. If you look at it, it's not bad right here. Okay, another thing I could have done earlier, which I forgot, is this. All right, so now we got, um, oh my gosh, that's actually pretty good. That's not too bad. 
That's pretty cool. You can see the pass as it went over the horizon. That's really, really cool. Um, and the previous image is in the history over here now. Uh, there it is. You can zoom in on that. And you can see what happens when you don't start early. You miss part of the image right here. And when it finishes, that's it. It doesn't back up. There's no sort of error correction. I mean, there's no sort of, like, re-download. There's no way to do that. That's it, man. And that's why this is cool, because it's unique. It's, um, it's not common. It's, it's uncommon. So, it's not the internet, you know? It's not a utility. This is, um... There's some magic to it, you know, that's what it feels like anyway, even if there's no such thing as magic. So I'm pretty psyched. I mean, that's a sharp image, even if I miss part of it. Um, I might be able to get some sort of award for this. There's an organization that does awards on these things. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thank you for watching. Um, we are in, we, I am in Durham, North Carolina. It's about 6 p.m. local time, 6.07 right now. And, um... Yeah, this is cool. I'm, I'm just having a great time. This is my first ISS, International Space Station, slow scan TV, SSTV, that is, um, reception. Um, I use my aero antenna, which I've used in other videos, one other video at least, that you've seen. And it's, uh, I recommend you watch the other videos if you, if you want an explanation of that. Um, I did a little different thing here. I, I use this radio because it had, I already had audio out connected to it such that I could also listen to the audio. Um, I wired that into the speaker manually and that way I can it doesn't cut off the, ex, the internal speaker when you plug it into something else which is important so that you so that I can hear the reception and so that I can adjust the antenna as the signal strength goes up and down. Okay so that's that and I'm gonna turn, turn this thing off before it freaking fries. Holy crap. Oh man, should I save these images or should I just hope? <laughs> Let's hope that this works. Okay, so I had to use the power from my car to um, power this radio. It's it's a mobile radio. It's not made for, um, it's not a handheld radio. It's a full 50 watt mobile radio. So that's why I've got the power cable coming from the car. The DSLR didn't work out so well. I don't know. Next time we'll get it better. Um, this is fun. I like doing this. It's learning and learning is fun so I hope you got a kick out of it I did and until next time I am John Breyer KG4 AKV Kilo Golf 4 Alpha Kilo Victor phonetically so you can understand that that's how hams say stuff or say letters and numbers um, when the conditions aren't so great and and you don't have to be ambiguous about did he say T or C he said Tango and Charlie now you know okay there it is alright have a good one y'all thanks for watching bye